Hey, welcome back to Baird's Quinn. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use sample spaces to solve real life problems using probability. This is a follow on question from part one. So make sure you watch part one. This is a more advanced question for you to figure out. So the prompt to the original question was that Sally sells crew t-shirts on an online merch store. She sells four colors, yellow, blue, gray, and red, and each of the t-shirts are available in three different sizes. So small, medium, and large. So in this bonus round, we're going to be answering the following question that says the first and second t-shirt have the same color or the same size. So I'm going to be using the same sample space that I did in the previous video. Uh, just to remind you, there's four colors, yellow, blue, gray, and red t-shirts, and we have three different sizes. So we have small, medium, and large. And so we're trying to find out the probability of buying two t-shirts that have the same color or the same size. So I'm going to let the vertical axis of my sample space to represent the possible outcomes of t-shirt one, and then the horizontal axis of my sample space can represent the outcomes of t-shirt two. Now, from the previous video, we said that we're gonna have yellow, small, yellow, medium, and yellow, large. That's the outcomes for the yellow shirt. And then the same would be for the blue shirt, the same for the gray, and the same for the red shirts. And for t-shirt number two, I can have exactly the same outcomes, red, large, red, medium, red, small, and then same with the gray, same with the blue, and same with the yellow. Now, in total, I have 144 outcomes. And yes, I drew 144 dots to represent that sample space. Now, from these 144 outcomes, what I'm looking for is the probability that the t-shirts have the same color. Now, for red, that would be these nine dots here. So if I did buy those two t-shirts online, blindfolded, and I didn't know what I was picking, and all I wanted to know is I would get the same color and the same size, I have nine outcomes to get a red t-shirt, okay? Whether it's a red small uh, with a red large, a red small with a red medium, red small with a red small, it really doesn't matter. Now, the same principle applies for the gray t-shirts and the blue t-shirts and the yellow t-shirts. So if I'm looking for the probability of the first and the second t-shirt being the same color, then that would be 9 plus 9 plus 9 plus 9 over 144, which is 36 over 144, and that can be simplified down to 1 over 4, so 1 quarter. Now let's find out the total outcomes for the same size. So buying two t-shirts that are the same size using the same sample space. So let's look at the purple dots. This is the probability of getting a red large with a red large, or a red large with a gray large, or a red large with a blue large, or a red large t-shirt with a yellow large t-shirt. Okay, so that's the large outcomes. There's four possible outcomes there for the large. The same applies for the mediums, and then the red smalls, and then uh, the gray large, a gray medium, gray small, and then you can see the same for the blues, and then finally, the same for the yellows. So the purple dots represent if I want you to buy two t-shirts with the same size. Now, one very important thing that you need to notice is if you look at the same color and the same size, we have an overlap. We have these 12 outcomes that are repeated. Now, we do not want to count these purple dots here because they are a repetition of the previous outcome. So what we need to do is we need to discount them or cross them out like this so we don't count them in our calculation. Now, remember, the probability of the same size, we originally had 48 purple dots, that's 48 out of 144. Now remember, we need to minus the 12 because they're a repetition of our previous outcomes. And so in total, we will have 36 out of 144, which we can simplify down to one quarter. So the last step is that we need to consider that we're finding the probability of buying two shirts that have the same color or the same size. So I'm gonna add the quarter from the first part of the probability plus the quarter from the second part of the probability, which gives me a probability of one over two or 50% chance of buying two t-shirts that have the same color or the same size. So I hope you found that helpful. And if you want more videos on probability, then check out the playlists. And if you need more tips, tricks, and tutorials on math videos, then subscribe to make sure you get the latest updates. I'll see you in the next one. and consider subscribing for more math videos, and I'll see you in the next one.